And that brings us uh, to the conclusion of uh, Cloud Computing Concepts Part 2 as well as the two-part Cloud Computing Concepts course series. You have seen a variety of Cloud Computing Concepts uh, so far, uh, including basic Cloud Computing Concepts like MapReduce and Key Value Stores. Uh, then we started to look at classical precursors, widely used algorithms, and classical algorithms that underlie pretty much all the Cloud Computing Systems that are out there in deployment today. In uh, the C3 part one, you also saw interviews with leading managers and uh, researchers in industry as well as academia. We continued that in part two, along with the discussion uh, continued of classical algorithms that underlie today's cloud computing systems, discussion of scalability, new and trending areas, as well as miscellaneous topics that uh, are related to cloud computing. In this course, both part one and part two combined, you have done several uh, homeworks that have hopefully allowed you to absorb the topics and exercise uh, the topics as well. If you've done the programming assignments, you have uh, built a membership protocol in uh, C3 part one and a key value store inside C3 part two. Now, both the programming assignments were structured inside an emulator, which made it easy for you to test your code using the test cases we provided. But the code is also structured in a way that you can easily port your code to run over a real network, essentially using a sockets interface. I highly encourage you to try this out if you can. Of course, you may want to think about how to multi-thread your code, for instance, to make it more efficient. And finally, of course, you have taken two final exams, one for each of the parts. Uh, you have now learned um, a lot of the distributed systems concepts that underlie today's cloud computing technologies. You have learned uh, concepts, techniques, and applications of these uh, to industry systems, uh, including open source uh, systems, where we apply, look at applications from the inside rather than from the outside. You've seen distributed systems, distributed algorithms um, as applied to cloud computing. You now do have the background to go exploring through the uh, cloud computing um, ecosystem out there, both open source as well as closed source systems. Um, and for the open source systems, you should feel free to um, and brave uh, to go out there and make changes to them. Uh, try to contribute patches uh, to Hadoop, for instance, or to the key value stores or many of the other cloud computing systems that are out there. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about cloud computing, uh, we do have a cloud specialization. Uh, the Cloud Computing Concepts course, part one and part two, are part of a four course cloud specialization series. Uh, the other courses that are coming up in the specialization including a, include a cloud applications course, a cloud networking course, and also a capstone that will be part of the cloud specialization uh, series. Thank you for joining me on this journey and I hope uh, you have enjoyed this journey and continue to be interested in exploring more about cloud computing out there in the world.